So I use my PC in a room in the basement, which is actually directly below the kitchen where my parents would be calling to me for dinner or other things from, but sound doesn't tend to travel through solid floors very well. So the sound would have to travel all the way down the stairs and around a corner to get to my ears, which when I have a headset on, because- Satchel out. Strike down A. Where is everyone hiding? So I thought of a solution where I would create a home intercom system that would directly transmit to inside my headset and then I could use my microphone on my headset since I have it out most of the time anyway to directly transmit audio back to them and they could hear it clearly without the need for shouting across floors of the house like usually happens and of course my parents are unwilling to come downstairs and communicate to me right next to me themselves so this would improve quality of my life as well as my teammates because of the increased likelihood that I'll be able to stay and continue gaming with them rather than leave the match and guarantee them a loss and a waste of time. My primary objective with this project is to have an intercom that directly communicates with my headset but I'd also like to have another intercom present in the room that my computer is located in so then when I have my headset off or my siblings that also have their devices in the same room can also receive the audio being transmitted from upstairs. So for this we can use the mumble voice chat application platform that is an open source low latency voice over IP service that also has many other third party builds for different operating systems which will be important because I intend to use Raspberry Pis for the physical intercoms. This should fit all my needs because it allows me to locally host the Mumble server on my own home server I made out of an old PC and will allow for multiple clients to connect to it and all hear the same audio and transmit audio back to all the other clients in the system. Of course, that means that there won't be direct connection and choosing like that, but there shouldn't be that many intercoms uh, and I shouldn't need that feature anyway. All right, for this project, I'll need two Raspberry Pi Zero Ws. And if you don't know what they are, they're these $10 single board computers that can connect to Wi-Fi, uh, at least the W variant. Next, I'll need two of these Adafruit voice bonnets. Uh, I'll, only, I'll need these for their built-in microphones that they have, button that I'll need for the transmitting audio, and it'll make it easier to play sound through the speaker. They're a bit expensive, and they are kind of just a rebranding. Of this, uh, of this re-speaker to mic Pi hat. So this will also work too for this project if you intend to make one yourself and was actually the software I'm going to use what was designed for it. I got this voice on it when it was on sale for a second, I believe. And I like the three programmable dot star LEDs and the audio block as well as it being a newer piece of technology than this. And finally, I'll just be using these cheap three watt four ohm speakers for audio. All right, now the Raspberry Pi Zero, I'm going to have to solder in these header pins into it in order to use it with the voice bonnet. All right, I believe that's it. <coughs> Get the lead out of my lungs. Seems pretty fine. There we go. Let's stick the voice bonnet, or a bonnet, bonnet, bonnet. There we go. I got the Mumble server running on my home server in a Docker container using the Copit Mumble server image. 
and I also set up the Windows Mumble Client to run constantly in the background of my PC, as well as initially run every time I boot up my computer. I made it not appear in the taskbar other than a little icon in the bottom right that changes when I transmit audio, and set the global push to talk button to my enter key on my keypad. Also, in the case that you're following along with this and actually trying to make this yourself, I was actually stuck at a headbanger for this project for like a month because I had the Raspberry Pi set up and it seemed like they were working fine and I could transmit audio to the Raspberry Pis actually, but no matter what, their microphones wouldn't transmit anything back to my headset. And I later found out that the solution to that is to go into the ASIO setting in the settings of Mumble and change the device selection, which I believe is the driver for the audio. I would tell you what that all does, but to be honest, I don't completely know what that does myself, which is probably why I was stuck at a headbanger for so long for it. Here I'm literally just setting up the Raspberry Pi to have all the tools it needs to function correctly. Just a typical Linux based platform install, you know? Next, you probably won't be able to see what's going on anyway, but I'm installing Adafruit's voice bonnet software, all of its dependencies, and for the Mumble client connection, I'll be using a branch of the TakiPi project, originally created by Daniel DeChote, but was edited by Custom Machines for use with Raspberry Pi Zero voice cards like mine. For more details to find, if you want to do all this yourself, I'll have some links in the description for you. Intercom to connected and enter channel. Testing. Hello. How is this? Testing. 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 Hello. Hello. So the design of this could totally just be a rectangle that just contains the electronics and the speaker one on top of another with screws underneath them and it would be quite compact but I honestly like the design of circular smart home devices more so I just went with that. I'm listening. I thought it turned out pretty well. 
One thing you may have also noticed at the end of the video is that it is also possible to connect to the Mumble server on a phone using the Moomla or Plumble Android clients and transmitting to the intercoms that way. Uh, one thing I also wanted to do was write a simple Python program using Adafruit's CircuitPython to interact with the voice when a in order to turn one of the dot star LEDs green to show that the intercom was operational and turn another LED red when the button is pressed to show that it's working. But the issue with this is with the Raspberry Pi Zero single, not incredibly speedy core, it really struggles to handle this kind of program and run the mumble client as well. And it sounds more like this when trying to transmit. So it's more likely that I'll remotely trigger this function when guests are over to make the thing seem more nice, but otherwise it's not essential to the function of the intercom and is gonna cause the entire system to constantly struggle if I keep it on. Well, if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching my video and consider using any of YouTube's functions to possibly support this video or my channel.